Hi everyone, in this um, module, I've created a CD Morpher. It's basically a CD modeling for a scenario. So it's like this animation show in here. Uh, you have like this one is uh, the compact city where you have uh, taller buildings concentrated in the city center. Next is that uh, you also have like the medium sized buildings scattered on the inner ring. And the last one is that um, on the outer rings you have uh, lower uh, density and lower building heights with uh, larger floor size of the block so to do this one you can create a new one so we're using um, rectangle for the buildings so click the rectangle we need to create the, uh, the scenario here which is the let's say like the CBD so click rectangle and then choose the pixel spline. Then pick the close spline here. So we want to have the building scattered on the path, not on the center of the circle. So click uh, on the path here, and then we want to have the, the pixelized buildings. Then you can rescale it into like 200 and then control this one as well make it like scattered then change the segments into like a less number of 10 um, next is that we want to extrude uh, the buildings using edit poly to choose all the polygon here control a and then face extrude to maybe 30 and then next is that we want to have um, the residential buildings on the surrounding uh, to do that we use um, plane we created like 300 by 300 then use the segment or uh, segments of 30 so you have like 10 by 10 squares for each squares and drag it into the middle and then Next is that we want to change it into editable poly and then we want to break all the vertex in here so we can get the square. Click break, control A, click break. The next is that we want to select all the polygon and then we want to rescale them into like a floor area of 60%. So it's like 60 then we can extrude that for the building which is in here extrude into five meter heights for the residential then we apply the volume select um, choose the vertex because we want to control the building heights and then click the mesh object and then click the circle here then we want to have a like the clearance uh, area between the higher buildings and the residential here click soft selections and then use a key for the fall off next is that we use the morpher morpher then we apply the current state here as name it as scenario next is that we want to have um, the other parameters where you have uh, zero residential buildings on the circle so to do that we use editable poly and then we choose all the polygon then rescale them into 0%. Get back to the morpher and then change uh, the percentage in here. So we have um, 
this kind of image here then we want to have like the inverted one using the volume select and click the invert it's pretty much like this then you can apply like the colors for you can say it's the cbd and then the residential like the gray one then we want to apply the animation here animation pane to do this animation pane we need to use the outer key mode and then change the circle because the circle is the um the control for the cbd here so this is the first one we click the set keys then next is that we change uh in the middle we change the uh, the circle here just to rescale the circle and then we want to have like the building heights the taller buildings so change the building height and then set keys and the last one is that the outer rings here and then click the circle you can control the last scenario you can have this way maybe and then you want to have like a lower height of the building so click uh, the building and then rescale them scale them again then set keys and then don't forget to click out okay again so it's like i think yeah it's pretty much like this then you want to hide the circle so if you have this scenario for the city modeling of like uh, different ways to create the city and i think that's all thank you very much